The new level of threats and provocations from North Korea. Just hours ago, the regime carried out a large-scale artillery drill just 100 miles from Seoul, South Korea. Experts say that Kim Jong-un seems to be sending a message to South Korea, which is holding joint naval drills with the U.S. and Japan right now. Let's bring in CNN correspondent Will Ripley, who's live for us from Pyongyang, North Korea. He's the only American journalist reporting from inside North Korea right now. Will, you've been speaking to the people there. Are they sensing that the tensions are escalating? Well, before we get to that, Jake, you know what that means. 5 a.m. here in Pyongyang, that's the morning wake-up alarm to get everybody out of bed. Uh, and uh, people say they are up and ready uh, to fight the United States if need be. That is the tone that we hear on the streets here in North Korea. I was actually speaking with a, uh, a soldier in front of the USS Pueblo. It's the Navy ship that North Korea captured back in 1968, the spy ship. Uh, they held the crew hostage for a while back, back then, and the soldier said that uh, this time around, North Korea has a, has a weapon that could sink the USS Carl Vinson Carrier Strike Group. Uh, they also talked about the nuclear submarine that arrived in the waters off of South Korea, made a stop in Pusan yesterday, and those trilateral joint exercises, the naval exercises between Japan, South Korea, and the U.S. They say they are not alarmed. They say they have faith in their leader, Kim Jong-un, that he has the weapons and the manpower to fight back against the U.S. Now, of course, this is a nation where there is no political dissent. It's an authoritarian regime. So so of course, all that you're going to hear is 100% support uh, of uh, the path that he's taking this country down, even as outside observers believe it's a dangerous path.